put some tuna fish in there, crumble up some potato chips on top, mm, make a meal out of that. Hey y'all and welcome to Hot Chocolate Chat. Today I'm drinking a hot chocolate from Starbucks. Yes, it's like 82 degrees, but I like it. We've had similar conversations before about this topic, but, um, and it's kind of like inexpensive meals. I follow this girl named Holly on Instagram and she put up a poll either yesterday or the day before about macaroni and cheese. And let's be real, y'all, I love me some macaroni and cheese. But anyway, her question was, have you ever put tuna fish in macaroni and cheese? Girl, have I put tuna fish on macaroni and cheese? Like in it? Yes. I mean, yes. But she never had. I was like, where, where are you from? Not only have I put tuna fish in macaroni and cheese, I've also put broccoli. I've put cut up hot dogs. I've put chicken in it before. I mean, it's it's basic, it's pasta with cheese sauce. And specifically speaking about tuna fish, put some tuna fish in there, crumble up some potato chips on top, mm, make a meal out of that. Where are all my foodie accounts out there? Noreen from Noreen's Nest, come on. Let me know what your thoughts are on this. I want all of my foodie friends and people that eat food that follow me, I want y'all to comment and let me know what your thoughts are on this. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and YouTube at Our Gray House, but just don't follow me in real life though, because that's creepy. So I had to come out and add this part. Tuna Helper makes basically macaroni and cheese with tuna in it. And some people call it tuna casserole. I mean, it's like a thing. Like, I don't know, like, it's a thing. My kids can tell you we ate, we ate that a lot. Also, like, I made bologna cups. We can even talk about that. Mm -hmm.